Good morning. It is now 6.49 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date, 8.21 of 2013, the dog days of August are upon us. We all know that we had called for a correction in a broader equity market as it is on the website. The low volume opening 20 minute bell is how on a three minute we start with that gap. We go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 to the high with a new three and that's three dollar uh, three minute bar in price on the opening bell we can clearly tell you that three quarter delta resistance is 508.38 so i'm going to show you here in the first 20 minute opening bell is that opening bell 60 minute price action bar that starts up with the gap where it broke this lower diamond right here yesterday this is what it looks like yesterday MMTs that were here and shorting it. See the distribution bars here? See how they were breaking these half bars over here? Look at the two red cell bars. Now these are 60 minutes in price. And when the diamonds were closing toward the lows and whatnot, you can see that it had quite a sell up from these highs up here back down to the $500 level. That's $12 reversal. We know that. And we know how gaps start in the diamond in our market maker app. We know that the stock put in currently slightly above one half delta range. What is one half delta range? Well, I would say on this chart, we're just looking at the three quarters, but it could trade up to 515.70, one and a half deltas up from this reversal once it takes out this high up here on a 60 minute level now can it happen on much lighter volume absolutely what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and we're going to make our limit order adjustments mmt 20 minute opening bell apple computer from 512 down to let's just call it 500 with a pop today and where it broke down here this half bar right now is going to be 507 42 that's going to be your first resistance one, mathematically, no matter what. In the delta tree, we're going to put out a sell short over here at three-quarter delta at 508.38 limit market maker order out to sell short on Apple. So we already know over here in Sterling in the trading monitor, we were going to buy Apple down here at 498. We're going to cancel it. There was no drop down bid and it's held support. So what we are going to do now is that we're going to put a short out at that three quarter delta mark. So I'm going to go over here and pull the apple. I'm going to change Tesla and Apple around and we'll put Apple here, put Tesla over here, Tesla or however and whatnot. So this is live on that opening bell. We got a high of 50715 pennies, 15 pennies right here. That's the reversal. So basically, we're going to put limit orders to sell short. We're going to put it in right here. Watch. 508. And what we're going to do is we're going to go 27 pennies. That's a three quarter delta in the SMF market maker live limit order out in our mathematical trading platform that we use. That's the upper end of the delta. And we'll put 500, we'll put 500 to short. So we'll hit the sell short button. See, live, 500, 50827, and it's going out on the NASDAQ, and that's $254,135 of money. Right here, it tells you. Estimated amount, that's what it is. Now we hit send. So now we have a short order on Apple at a three-quarter delta mark. We are now exactly... 24 minutes to the opening bell with slightly below. We got to 5 8 delta. Look at the high. Look at the high. 507.15. Look at the high in our market maker app today. 507.16. That's 5 8. We are perfectly on it right here. We are right there to the penny at 5 8 20 minute intraday opening bell high. Morning high right there with the gap, how to sell the gap short so that when Apple will come back down off of that gap open up high at that teeny 
resistance level. So we got exactly 0 0.57, 9.116ies. That's 1 16th equals 61 pennies times 9.16 equals, right now, 5.58. $6.05 was the retracement on the three minute chart. When we look at the 60 minute opening bell chart, we can clearly see right now what that 60 minute bar looks like and what the upper end of this half bar resistance is going to be. It's right there at 507.42. We'll revisit this here in just a little while. Here we are right now. We're at limit order 300. The account, the price is 5830 and you hit the short button on Apple. The proceeds, so short Apple, again, in a different account, proceeds of $152,000. There's the price. Then you hit send. And now the order has been launched. The order is going to show here in the trading monitor price 508.3. And, and here's another order right here at 508.27. And here's another order. 500 shares, another order. So we have how many total shares out to sell short? 1,000, 500, 200, and 300. That's 1,000 shares, limit order open at 6.57 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And guess what? We're above the market so that when we do get hit, if we do test, listen, we put it above the half bar because we did. And that was that bar that we talked about in this video. And those were those half bars. 57.42 is a half bar. And it got to the high of... We all know 507.15. And here's where it's trading at up here. In the Sterling Pro, we have the bid and ask columns already set up for you. So you can see that very important data. You can see what the open was. You can see what the high, the low, and the close was. And not only that, the current volume. That's what market makers do. So basically, the markets have a very low volume tape. Both the bull and the bear have the equal weighted risk and risk management right now in the month of August due to low volume caps. They dropped the bids like they did on Apple yesterday, $10 off of the high. And that can happen in other names, and it will. So, once again, my friends, at this very timestamp, we're two minutes away from the first 30 minute bar. After that 30-minute bar comes into play, we're going to go on to pause. There is our live limit orders. We had 1,000 to sell short Apple above the marketplace at 508.3 before the fact. That limit order must be out there. And we are very competent and very good at what we do. And it will come clear to you as we move through the daily prices. It will come very clear to you as it will. So here we are. We're going to take a pause and we're going to look at the 30 minute opening bell price volume bars in the MMT market maker application. Live on the opening bell, 821, 2013, 659 AM. One of the other features we want to put in here at 7 o'clock in a 30 minute opening bell is how the MMTs using the MMT application will know that right away when they break that half bar, rule one is short, no matter what. And if it go, comes back up above it, you have a stop market, but we are selling down here on Netflix on the opening bell short. Breaking the half bars, Mr. Flag, well, I don't know what he was doing. He was probably out there trading the S&P. But yesterday in Netflix, they squeeze his shorts all the way up. And they finally got in another new 52-week high. And this is the opening bell at 700 a.m. in the first 30 minutes. On a three-minute chart with a very low what? IR of below 25, 13. This time, it's 0 0.37, which is minus 5.91 teenies at 69 cents per teeny, which equaled $4.08 pennies to the penny. Let it be known. So we have a bounce at 
269 and we're going to move in with some limit orders. Here we are live right now. We're going to do a limit order to go long on Netflix. 269.25 in the opening bell. 31 minutes in the tape on that open. Here's that bottom reversal. That's going to be the resistance. But what we're going to do is on the pullback, the low 69.2. So live right now in the marketplace, we're going to put this down here to buy. We're going to put it right back here at 63 pennies and we're having 200 shares and we're going to hit buy and it says buy netflix at 269.3 in the capital viking account and we're going to hit send it is now a limit order as we can see we can see 200 shares at 269.63 we can see here live as part of the apple opening bell and Apple, just to update everyone, as I said, that is the reversal going down on Apple right now. That's that short delta that we talked about earlier on in the video. Look at that. Now, that limit order here to go long, the reason why we kept the 200 share lot right here highlighted live is that we have to address the risk on the entry. Once we know that the entry from that reversal down here one thing about it today is that its inner day range here is only 15 it's below 25 he hit 0 0.37 mathematically in the electronic buy open sell bot system in the ecn so look at where he was look at what he did he hit that low right there so basically in netflix coming off of that bottom right now and Apple right now in the same time print you can see where it's going to come back and pull in we're going to put put some limit orders we have limit orders to sell short Apple and we also have limit orders to buy Netflix long right now off of these bottoms here and you can see our prices are 269.63 and you can see here a two teenies, two one sixteenth bounce. The ten is still flat. So basically, what we're going to be looking for is a twenty three IR is below twenty five. Yes, he's negative quarter delta. Each line, each sixteenth is sixty nine cents. Sixty nine times cents one, two. And the ten minute is is that resistance. And the order is down here. And at seven o four a.m. opening bell. How do I square into a position on an opening bell? And where do I put the limit orders? That's what we're showing you here. This is the Sterling app. Direct access to the market. You're going to be using just that. Not only that, that reversal right now on Apple. It made those highs. But we also know that on Apple we were looking at that sixty minute chart. And it came right up below that 60 minute half bar and it finally pulled back. But the momentum was strong. It doesn't matter. This is that opening gap on Apple right here. Still in play. 13 minute. What we will say is that we're coming back down on Netflix live and we have limit orders are down here. It's still risky for us. And I'll show you why. Here's that Apple trade. I'll bring it back over here in a minute. Here, let's get to the Netflix. Here's the bid, 269.80. You can see our limit orders are 63 cents. And you can see here on that three minute bar, it's coming right back down to that lower teeny level again. So we're awfully close to getting hit. Because of that IR is weak, we're going to go live, hit cancel button, hit cancel button. So we canceled it out and we're going to take the limit order on Netflix. We're going to take that order right down here to 268.75 cents and we'll buy we'll start the volume on that left elbow lower volume gap down we're just going to have that order down there that's a wholesale order I'm going to hit buy then I'm going to hit send okay and here's the bid 269.49 I had canceled that order live we, we, we made our adjustments and we put the next lower limit order out here. You can see it's at 268.75. The low on this opening 36 minute print is 269.2 on the low. 
and that is Netflix that I'm talking about for the Netflix traders and so once again we have limit orders out here at 268.75 how do you like that and another thing is I'm gonna go over here with the MMTs and we're gonna get the bottom end of this trade so look at one half delta is 260 okay guys it's a dollar 73 below the hip it's 267.77 minus one half ratio we are right there and our limit orders are down here they're about right in here let's see what this number is yep damn sure is 268.79 and our limit order is and that's this line right here mmt right where the pointer is and that's 268.75 so we're going to have to make in another adjustment. It would be price 266.77, a dollar 73 below the market. Three eighths delta is coming into play at 269.15 again. That's three eighths delta right here, and that's the price to delta. Price to delta. That's the 16th delta. So basically, Netflix is right here on the bid. So what am I going to do? I'm going to cancel these orders at 268.75. I'm going to make my adjustment because this here is on one. So I've canceled that lower order and I'm going to go down to 267. So I'm going to adjust my price and this is how it's done. 267 point, let's just go 79 cents. And that's the one half delta limit order in. I'm going to start again with 300. And I've made my adjustments based on what the MMT app says to do. But he just hit a bottom. But I'm still going to put the order out there. Okay. Let's make it 400 shares. 500. No, let's just make it 300. That's what I said. 300. At that price. And we're going to make the adjustment. We're going to leave that order out there because that's the half a delta range on the open here. Right now, 7.09 a.m. Right now, the IR is at 11, but still, that puts our order way down here where my pointer is. So if he breaks down one, two, he's going to have to break down two more teenies, one sixteenth, and that one sixteenth value today is 69 cents per one sixteenth. It converts into pennies, and that's 69 pennies. It's at zero, and we have that live limit order adjustment right here at 267.79. Okay, and that is trading the lower end. The Netflix bid is 268.56. Remember, we canceled our 268.30s, but we put it down there at the half a delta. So basically, today the bot system just crossed the market right away on the open, man, MMTs, and slammed it down here right now before us. The bid is now 268.73. The last print was 269, 268. They're rising the bid and the ask right now. They're trying to hold that teeny support. That line is 268.5. All right, so five eights down, so he's 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 got a bottom, Houston. Uh, two sixty eight five was that last low, and he's back to a fifteen IR range, MMT. We can clearly see it, but it's still a weak one. We'll leave the limit order out there at the moment. One thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the Apple short. Look at here. They were coming late, but in this August tape, we are coming back down and we're going to get live limit orders on Apple to go long. So do we have live? Yeah, we have them to sell short at 508. That's the short side right here. But now we have to be a buyer and there's a Netflix shorts. So we'll leave those out there. That's at 277.04. That was opening bell before stock market opened. So basically, we're going to put limit orders out here. We're going to put out here to buy long Apple at 502.50 for right now. And this is that intraday morning high. It's 711 a.m. It's 821, 2013. Live with the MMT market makers trading our capital. You know, it takes money to make money. He got a bottom here. Right now, 
he's putting the bottom in Apple. And the difference between Apple and Netflix is Apple has much stronger momentum. And it's really evident right here, 5950IR. That's the bottom right there. So we're going to go over here to Apple. We're going to go to the buy and sell box. There it is. We want to get net long Apple. And we're going to put the limit order at 502, 502.75 cents. That's the limit order live right now. Apple's printing up here in the bid at 504.69. So what? That's the lower end of that support level. Now, let it be clear that Apple made that great high with that gap. And I said earlier in this tape, on this very live analysis, that we're going to get the pullback. And it's going to be at 502.75. And I'm going to buy 500 shares. And it says right here, 502.75, $251,375 live. That is the estimated amount, and I'm going to send it. Now, let's go to our position box in the Sterling Pro. 502.75 is the limit to buy that pullback from that morning high. Two more minutes, you'll have exactly 45 minutes into the tape and the limit order is down here there it is 50275 50275 let's go ahead and put mr mike out there at no nope, that's a different one i was going to adjust his order i'm going to put him down here at 266.75 to go long on rim i mean to go long on netflix here so and i'm going to change the account number no, it's already there. And it's 266.75 cents for later in the day. I'm going to buy 500 of it. That's on Netflix to go long. I already have limit orders out there. I'm going to go ahead and put him over here in this live order. Uh, go with him with 300 shares to start. With that limit order of 502, as I'm doing now, 502. 0.75 cents you'll enter it in the box then you're going to hit the buy then the proceeds are going to come up it confirms the account limit to go long it's 7 14 a.m it's all in this first hourly opening bell with my new mmt market makers trading our capital hit send and there it is what you need to do now is go to stockmarketfunding.com go to the trading click on the free five-day trial if you're interested it's very simple. Get started. After you do that, go to trading. Go to open an account. Hit open the account. Hit open account here button. Open it up. Viking Capital will be the person putting the money up behind you in your MMT Market Maker account. The market makers will be doing the live orders as we're doing here and now with the market moving live. And not only that, you'll have the complete backup management, things that you don't know what you're doing as you're going through your market maker training yearly level. You will have your trading capital provided by Viking Capital. You can go through here and read what it is, fill in the information. It's very simple. You will get together with me directly once I receive it. It will be your responsibility. We'll know if you're serious. Listen, you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 20 to 1 buying power. If you're in the school and you're making markets, you're going to do that just fine. So basically, we're going to go back to Netflix, and we got limit orders out to buy Netflix. So here, let's go by symbol. Here's the limit orders, 266.75 and 267.69, and the bid is 268.5, and it's 7.16 a.m. And what I got to say about the Netflix is the following. It has finally... On Apple, I'm, I'll put Apple in here first, but Netflix, it finally has landed down here close to our limit order. Um, let us not forget that the limit order was placed right here. 
And there is the time stamp at 267.79 on Netflix, live limit order, before the price ever got there. It's before your eyes. You can believe that. Is there any uncertainty in my voice? It was done before the price has ever got there. This is the kind of management you're going to have behind you. And this is the kind of environment you're going to be in. So, if you're going to be a market maker, you're going to get in here, and you're going to know what to do that. And he hit right here, 268. And now he's popped it up. But the IR is only at 11 in our system, and he's still minus 0 0.42. 69 cents per 1 16th. 1, 2, 3 almost down times 69 cents. Do the math. It's that accurate. So, let us know that the limit orders remain here on Netflix to buy long in this live video before the fact. He's coming up. He may have the bottom end. He's, but here, it's still 13 IR. He's 0 0.38. When that falls in value where my pointer is, that's why the candle goes up. That's the trend ratio. That's our market maker ratio right here. Right here, 46 by 47. That's how they bounce. That's on Apple. I want people to see how the, the, the trend ratios work in different applications. Look at here. Netflix, trend ratio, 39, 37. If this number prints 40, this bar goes down immediately. There's no lag. No. But you're still below 25. This is that morning bottom at 718. Right now we're getting net long. We can take a little bit of risk down here. We can take 100 shares. We're down here buying. We didn't buy it up here and hold it all the way down like the public. No, market makers buy here. We're going to take another limit order with 200 shares, and we're going to go at, right now, we're going to mark this limit in order at 268.35 pennies. And we'll leave the other limit orders out there, and we'll scale this bottom right now. So I'm going to hit buy button here. Netflix, 200 shares, or 500 rather. I didn't want that many. Don't send the order. I wanted 200. Make your adjustment. Make sure the volume always done where my pointer is. It's very easy to do that. Must be aware. 268.35, 200 to buy. Right here, the proceeds are $53,670. Send. The live limit order, to scale it now, I still have 267.79, and I moved it up. This is the bottom reversal at 7.21 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Netflix live reversal. With the recap of sliding the bid, that short coming down, we have limit orders on this opening hour print. Nine minutes away, our limit orders on Apple to buy long. We've had them out here all day. Let's go to symbols. There's Apple, buy at 502.75, all limit orders. We're out to buy 1,000 shares long, 5, 7, and 3 equals 1,000, right? We're also out to short 3, 5, uh, we're out to short 508, 508. 1,000 to short Apple, if it was to go up and break up today to that price level, we would get short. Right now, we have a limit order live right here on Apple at 502.75. That's where we felt that the pullback and the lower risk entry would be in that first openly hour print, but we're willing to make an adjustment on a New York dime.